right, Mike's been working on his rebel today. <clears throat> All right, anybody who's ever had a car with headers on it know what a hassle they can be. It burnt the starter up, burnt the solenoid switch up. So I took headers off and ran stop manifolds and to find some in a junkyard. In another video, I think I showed you where I found an aluminum high rise and aluminum valve covers in the junkyard. I got them valve covers eight bucks a piece and I don't remember that high rise was ten dollars or something. So I'm putting stock exhaust pipes back on it and we're not gonna do the header thing anymore. That's too big of a hassle. And I've got one side done on the driver's side and I gotta finish the one on the passenger side tomorrow. And I get out here doing little little tedious things, adjusting hood hinges and adjusting door hinges and and just trying to figure out what else I need to do to it. I'm to the point where you do all the little nitpicking stuff. I'm going to start putting the door panels and all in tomorrow. That's why I got it backed out here where it's at. I'm going to put these front door panels and all in the front tomorrow. And it's a never-ending process, but it's starting to look real good. Yeah, he's trying to get it ready for Don Garlitz, which is in March. A lot of people says there's there are no rebels at these shows. It'll be ready. These wheels, old aluminum wheels. I'm gonna take them off and wire brush them real good and uh, hit them with some aluminum and some clear. That's that's about the best we can do. Is maybe put some new lug nuts on. That ain't rough. So that's about the best it's gonna be for this year at the car show. All right. Well, y'all take care.